What's up guys, TC here and welcome back to Starbound and today I've got a Fan Friday episode featuring three monsters made by you guys and so uh, I'm really excited to show this off, I haven't had really a chance to do a Fan Friday in a while uh, and it's kind of hard to get a lot of content for these monsters because you know they're, they're kind of difficult to make uh, so I kind of understand why uh, we don't have a ton of submissions but anyways I'm really excited to show them off so let's jump into it. First things first we have got the Crusto, this was submitted by user Cobbled Obsidian. So as you can see, it kind of spawns in, and this monster is really cool. Uh, he has a whole bunch of background uh, lore to it. It's kind of like a crystal geode type monster. Uh, it has all kinds of abilities. I really love it. It's um, really unique in the way it attacks and moves. It's got like offensive abilities, defensive abilities. Um, so just to name off a few things it can do, you'll see every now and then it kind of glo goes into this glowing state like that. And so it's really cool because basically it goes invulnerable and it heals itself when it goes into this kind of... Uh, geode state or whatever it is. It kind of like lights up and heals. It's really great because it means you don't have to really put a healing collar on it. It also has this kind of like sonic echo attack. It'll do in circles. It has a kind of crystal pulse where it shoots these kind of it looks like crystal geodes. It shoots them off like straight out from all angles. And then it has one where it shoots the geodes straight forward. So we're going to spawn in some monsters for him to kill real quick. He'll make pretty quick work of these guys. Now he also obviously so there's the red geode attack he does. There's the green one. He, here he's healing himself up. Although he doesn't need it, and that's his kind of uh, screech attack, where he kind of does that echo. So we're going to do another one. Um, it's really great because he just heals himself up. It's fantastic. It really opens him up to have another collar. So we're going to let him kill this guy. Although it is kind of odd. Sometimes he goes into his little uh, his healing state on attack, but it doesn't matter because they can't hurt him. But yeah, he's really powerful. Um, I love there's a whole bunch of lore to it. Um, you guys can probably... Uh, he, I don't think he'd be upset. Um, I don't have it, but I'm sure he could probably put it in the comments. Uh, it's a great monster. It's called the Crustoad, and it's uh, it's taken out. He put a lot of work into this thing, so I definitely want to show it off. So we're going to call him back now. The next one we have is called the Activated Scandroid. Now, this is one made by user Elevis. Now, uh, this thing's pretty cool. Basically, what it is, it uses the uh, scanning ability that my Echo Drone has. So you'll see it sends off a pulse every now and then, which identifies monsters and anything... Uh, anything on screen pretty much it can identify it and it will light them up and it also has a pulse attack so uh, real quick we're gonna spawn in something for him to kill there we go so as you can see he's already highlighted the, the monster there and he's got three little pulse attacks he does uh, it's pretty cool um, what I like to think is because he's got like a different uh, color scheme so what I like to think of it as is kind of the scandroids in the game are they're really really old is what I like to think and so they've been around for thousands of years, and so they're really, really dark. Uh, they've kind of lost their sheen. Uh, their scanning ability is dead, and their projectiles are also getting weaker, so that's why they shoot that weaker projectile. And so now we've got this one here is what happens, or what it looks like when they are freshly activated. So uh, this is that's kind of my little head lore to it. I'm not sure what his is, but it definitely looks cool. I love the, the color scheme on it. It's really nice. Um, and I just want to show him off. So we're going to call this guy back. He's having a little trouble killing this little fast bastard down here, so we're just going to do it for him. Uh, up next, and the last one we got is from none other than Photo Loss, and this guy always produces good content, so uh, definitely a big shout out to him, because uh, he has really been a big part in making this series possible. So uh, today's little invention, let's uh, jump forward a little bit, time warp. There we go. Uh, today's little creation he has made is called the Sudskid, and this thing is adorable. So we're going to spawn it in, and as you can see, it is a, it's a recoloring of, uh, I forgot what it's called, but um, it's adorable because it's like, it's based on like bubbles, so you can see it's kind of transparent if you look really closely. Uh, and this monster is really cool because he spawns in bubbles to attack. Uh, and he's not like super crazy dynamic or anything, but um, I think he's got a great color scheme and he's got a really great theme going on. So we're gonna spawn in something for him to kill. So as you can see, he starts popping out these little bubbles. Uh, the bubbles do very light damage, but the thing is, they've got a um, basically they've got like a weird cooldown on how they do the damage I'm not sure why like basically they'll take damage once and then they don't seem to take it much anymore afterwards but by the way he's really cool um, pr pretty much what happens whenever he encounters a monster he just spews them out so it's a, it's a pretty cool little effect I mean I, what I really like is the ability to make them transparent I've been using this in some of my monsters recently um, he showed me how to use color swap to make a monster transparent invisible all that kind of stuff and it's really u a unique little trick and it works really great for this guy here because he's kind of, you know, like soap themed. But uh, anyways, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Uh, you know, I really want to say thanks to you guys for supporting the channel and you guys for submitting your monsters. And I'd like to, you know, encourage more people to submit more so we can have more of these episodes. So uh, anyways, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please rate, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later.